Hey everyone, I'm Mind, and this is set number 75582, Brick Built Grow and Minions from the LEGO Despicable Me 4 theme. This set contains 839 pieces and will retail for $54.99 in the US when it officially releases on May 1st, 2024. This set was gifted to me early for review by the LEGO Group through the LEGO Ambassador Network, but all opinions expressed in this video are my own. If you're enjoying this kind of content and you want to see more, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm doing early reviews of all the Despicable Me 4 sets and I have a ton of other exciting stuff coming very soon. So thank you all very much for your support, and now let's get into the video. So here's the build of this set, and oh man, this is a weird one. <laughs> I guess I'll start off by showing you guys the functionality of this set, because there was something that wasn't actually that clear in pictures to me, but this thing does actually move and spin around. Gru in the center is static, but if you spin this minion on the side, the other four rotate around Gru, so that way you can change who's being displayed. That's actually really cool. It makes for just a super fun display piece. The entire build's quite solid as well. It does feel like it's meant to be put up on a shelf. Now, with that being said, let's talk about the big thing with this set, the thing I'm sure everybody's asking about, Gru. Brick Bill Gru is, oh boy, he's interesting looking. I think his face is captured fairly well for what they're going for. It's just seeing a man in Lego form just feels not right. Gru has a very distinct look in the Despicable Me movies, and flattening his face into a Lego build, it just seems a little bit scary. We have a few new printed parts here. We have two all new printed parts for his eyebrows, two new printed parts for his eyes, and then a new printed part for his mouth. Those are very interesting parts. I feel like they'll make for some very cursed customs, but I do appreciate that they're printed. And then I think this is a new color for like the Technic toothpiece, and they use that for his nose. You can see I'm moving it, because yes, that can move in his head, so you can slightly change how his nose is being displayed. So overall, I don't know how to feel about this. He's definitely a little freaky looking, and definitely a little uncanny, but also, I do see Gru in here. Me calling it weird is not me calling it bad, it's just strange looking. So if you like weird and wacky Lego sets, I do think this could be a genuinely fun one to pick up. Because yeah, this is weird and it's silly, but I also don't hate it. I kind of love it for its uncanniness. Anyway, let's move on to other parts of the build now. Gru's torso I think is really well designed, I appreciate how they captured a scarf here. And his zipper in the center is a stickered part, which is disappointing to see, but you're going to have to use some stickers in some places. I appreciate at the very least his face was printed. We got decent shaping to the sides of his body, and this is how he looks around the back. You can see there's actually not that many studs, he's almost entirely covered up. And that's nice to see, it makes the model feel a lot more complete. Helps to counteract a little bit of the uncanniness. And then of course you have these super thin long legs that come all the way down. Gru's arms can actually move, so that gives you some options for posing this thing. They connect onto the body with a mini ball joint, and then there's a hinge at the elbow, and then the hand connects on in a clip, and then there's also three individually posable fingers, as well as a thumb that can be moved ever so slightly. I'm surprised he has articulated fingers, I feel like that might even be too much detail for a build of this size, but you can get quite a bit of expression and personality out of this guy like this. So yeah, overall, I actually quite like the buildable Gru. The face is definitely the weirdest part, and it certainly is weird, but I don't hate it. All things considered, it's pretty well designed. But now coming to the base, to the minions. You can see they all spin because they're connected to this platform that's like rainbow in color. And that's nice because it breaks up like the black pedestal that Gru's standing on from the rest of the build. And those colors definitely really pop. And we have a total of five different minions here. Now my apologies, I don't know the names of these guys. As of the time you're recording this video, this set has been officially revealed, but this guy's not in official pictures because I guess he's a spoiler or something. And because of that, there's not like a set description yet. And I'm sorry, I'm not a minions expert. I don't know all of their names. And especially like this where they're brick built, they all look very similar to each other. So if any of you guys know which minions specifically these are, like I think if this is Tim, feel free to let me know in the comments. But you can see they each have different outfits on, so let's go through those one by one. First, this is probably the strangest one. We have like a minion in a hula outfit, and his body can move separately from his head, so he has more posability options than any of the other ones. Some interesting parts here, he has coconuts on, of course. I feel weird talking about this in a LEGO review. But they use a classic LEGO phone piece in brown, which that might be a new color. Definitely not a common color for that part, so that's cool to see. You get these ball pieces of brown too. But the most interesting pieces are definitely on his head. There's an apple, grapes, a cherry, banana. Those are all pretty common parts. But the most interesting ones are these two. This is an egg piece in bright orange, which I know is not new for this set. I think that came in one of the botanical sets, but definitely not a common color for that part. So very nice to get that in more sets. But then what's coming out of it? That's from the Lego CMF reindeer. And it was used as horns on the reindeer figure, but it's been recolored in green here to be like sprouts coming out of this fruit. And that is a really, really cool piece. I believe that's all new unless it came from like Lego Friends or something, but that's an amazing part to get. Really just useful accessory to have. I love that piece and it might be my favorite part in this entire set. Super cool to get here. Unfortunately, the minions' eyes and mouths are stickered. I would have liked if those were printed, but I'll give the set a little bit of slack because the set is relatively cheap for the piece count. Prints would have been nice, but it probably would have made the price higher. So if this is what's keeping the price down, I don't mind as much that they're stickered. The sticker mouths though don't look the best, the stickers are very obvious, but that's just how it is. Moving to the next one, this is the minion with the sirens on his head. <laughs> 
He's sticking his tongue out, his eyes squinted a little bit, and don't really have a ton to say about this one. He's in the standard overall outfit with Gru's logo in the center. And interestingly, that is actually a printed part, presumably because it's used three places in this build, so they wanted it to be printed. Nice to get that printed, I honestly wouldn't have minded if that was a sticker. I feel like clothing works better with stickers than faces do. And we saw that with Gru, like the zipper's a sticker, but his face is printed. But obviously this is making one print versus making ten, so I get why that's what they chose to make a print. Anyway, this guy's head can move, and in fact most of the minions' heads can move, and that's the only real point of articulation. Not really any interesting parts or anything to point out here, but the minions all do connect on in these little bases, and you can remove them from them if you want. Here's how the minion looks on zone, you can see that's how the feet are done. Pretty creative, but I don't have a ton else to say on this build. Next minion, also very basic, just the one with overalls, so the body's done exactly the same and the head's very similar, though this is a minion with a slightly longer head and two eyes instead of just one. He uses the same hairpiece that the smaller minions use, which is interesting. They didn't try to make it bigger here, they just did it exactly the same. And this guy has like a giant fire gun as his accessory. There are a couple interesting pieces in this build, namely these parts with the bars on them, that's the part that was introduced with the uh, beast figure in the last Marvel CMF. Very, very useful part to have, but it hasn't been used in a ton of places so far that I know of, so it's cool to see it coming in a white release set, and I believe the one of the minifigure series was white, so this is it in black, though I don't know if that's new for this set or if that came in another set this year. And then the green fire piece is also somewhat interesting that was introduced for Ninjago Master of the Mountain, and it still comes in sets off and on to this day, but hey, it's neat to get it here. It is a more uncommon color for that part. And just like the last minion, this minion's head can turn, and that's the only point of articulation on this guy. And then finally, we have a minion who I believe is in an AVL outfit, the Anti-Villain League. And I only say that because we have minifigure scale minions who also are in this outfit. I like how they did the tie with like this upside down diamond piece. That's actually really creative and looks fantastic. Once again, the eyes are squinty, but this guy actually has a propeller on his head. That's his unique trait. And he also comes with alternate eyes that you can swap out. And there's how that looks. I think this is something new for Despicable Me 4, which just hasn't come out yet. We get smaller versions of this than some of the other sets. But yeah, this is, I guess, just a powered up version of this minion. So it's up to you to choose which version of the eyes you would want on. And finally, we have this minion on the end, who's the one you turn to turn the entire system. And this guy's head does not move separately, because when you move it, you move the entire thing. And once again, he's just a generic minion in overalls. Similar build to the others, but he's sitting down instead of standing up. I actually think it's very cute the way his feet flare out like this. That's quite well done. And his accessory here is a loot as well as a banana. Banana makes sense, very common part. But the loot's still a relatively uncommon piece, so cool to get that here. And you can see this guy's got a wide smile and a wide open eye. And once again, he uses that hairpiece at the top. And that's about everything there is to this build. So, what are my overall thoughts? Well, I think a big highlight of this set is absolutely the price. $55 is pretty great for this. The actual size of the set is quite large, and there is quite a bit to actually build. Now, that being said, this is a set with no minifigures, which is not going to be for everybody, and Gru himself is definitely you either like it or you don't, and if you don't like it, you are not getting this set. So I think it's entirely up to your tastes. I think this is a very funny, very silly set to have, and I think the minions are pretty well done, but for a lot of collectors, you might be better off going with one of the minifigure scale sets. Still, I appreciate that Gru's arms are movable and there's the spinning functionality of this set. So overall, I don't know if I'd recommend this one, but I will say I'm happy it exists. So I guess that's a compliment to give it. And there are definitely a few interesting parts to get in this set. Which, of course, that's always something that's nice to see. But of course, those are just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think of this set in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like on it. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Thanks for watching, everybody. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.